welcome to my youtube channel my name is sandra if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video which like i've said isn't often but i'm getting a little bit better today i'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite pictures that i've taken with my polaroid cameras which mostly is my polaroid now this one my polaroid one step two and i did have a one step plus that um I had to return and I mentioned that in the video and I think I might have taken some not with this one sorry with this one I'd have taken some with this one but I can't remember if I showed you guys any with this one um, this video is gonna be a video where I show my pictures and I'm talking to you guys telling you guys kind of the settings that I used when I took the pictures so if you don't want to watch that you can just like play the video in like fast motion or something so you don't have to hear me talk um but yeah i'm gonna show you guys my favorite pictures that i've taken so far so let's get into the video first off let me say sorry for the ac in the background but let me get started with actually the first polaroid that i took i took this one with my polaroid now it is a double exposure and i did darken this um image and the flash was on for both shots and this is how it turned out i actually really like this one it's me and my boyfriend and you can see my like cups right here on the side i like it, it turned out pretty cool and then next i have this one that i took in solvang um it's weird i think the sun was hitting the lens and I didn't notice because the sun was somewhere over here and it came out with this glare but I still really like how this one came out even though it's a little bit dark um, I had the flash on and it was on auto exposure I try to write on the back um, what the settings were this one hopefully they don't mind me showing it is a cool one of my boyfriend his brother and his uncle I really like how the colors and everything turned out on this one this one was flash on auto exposure with my Polaroid now. This one I really like, even though it's a little bit on the darker side. This one is really bright and colorful in real life. But I still really like uh, how some of these kind of darker ones turn out. And this was just flash on auto exposure. This is another one that is a little bit dark like these colors were a lot more vibrant in person but i still really like how the colors picked up on this one and this was flash on this was actually lightened as well i really like how this one turned out next we have this one from my birthday last year i really like how the colors on this one turned out they were much brighter in person but i mean polaroids sometimes can grab the color sometimes don't flash on this was lightened i like how this one turned out too next one is a picture of a car that i took outside of my mom's house this was flash on auto exposure with my polaroid now this one came out a little bit pink but i still really like how these old school cars look on polaroid film this one I took in Long Beach, let's see what the settings were. Flash on auto exposure with my now. They're really hit or miss with Polaroid. As you can see, it just depends on the day, the film, how the film is feeling, like vibes, takes everything into consideration. This one I also took in Long Beach. This was with the same film pack, and this was flash on auto exposure as well. And this one you can see still turned out a little bit darker. I really like how this one turned out though. This one right here, honestly, is one of my favorites, like absolute favorites. It just came out really nice. A little bit on the darker side again, but really nice. This, I took it with um, a Polaroid One Step Plus that I had, I actually had to return it because I took it, this one came out really good but the camera was just broken and the film kept getting jammed so 
had to return the camera and then this one was really interesting it was the last picture of that plus um flash on darkened this was darkened it still came out really bright um and it was the last one of the pack all the other ones had been okay but this one for whatever reason came out like this and i actually have another example that i'll show you guys that was also the last one of the pack and came out a little bit worse than this <laughs> this one again hopefully they don't mind me showing it um was a nice one that i took i like how it turned out even though it looks a little bit lightened this was flash on auto exposure with uh, the one step two actually but this film pack was really I think it was the same as this one me no um this one the film pack for whatever was really light <laughs> like all the pictures turned out with this kind of white cast even though this is another pack of film and a different camera because this I took with my polaroid now flash on auto exposure and it was still having this white film i mean i did take this at night i took both of these at night but i really think they came out good for both being taken at night with the polaroid camera even though the colors didn't come out as vibrant as i would have expected the this sorry this neon one came out really good like i like how you can actually see the colors and it didn't just come out completely black because i was scared that that was gonna happen this is another cool one that I took. Came out a little bright. Flash on auto exposure with the one step two. And then this one, I also want to show you guys another example of these. I don't know if it's the way that I store them. This was with my one step two flash on auto exposure. Um, I don't know if it's the way that I store them. Like I try to keep them somewhere in my bag where they're not going to get squished, but. It, it always happens on this left side so i don't know if it's the film or the way that i'm storing them after i take the picture but this came out like with this weird line and different colors on that side compared to this side but i still really like how this picture came out this one i feel like really came out really good flash on auto with my one step two just came out really nice the blue came out really vibrant this honestly metallic film is probably my favorite from polaroid i'm usually a white border type of gal for like all my other instant film but for polaroid this metallic film has me in a chokehold i don't know if it's because i got a really good film pack but um i bought like a 16 pack and all of them have came out so good so far so i really love this like metallic film but this one came out so good this one was with my now flash on auto came out really nice this one also came out really nice with the metallic i believe i brightened it flash on with my now this one i really like too it's a little bit bright but i don't know this one really is just one of my favorites so that's why i'm showing it to you guys let's see what the settings were flash on auto with my now really cute these right here are honestly some of my top favorites i like all of these but some of these are like my top 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 favorites this one is one of them flash on auto with my now my now has given me i think some of the best results i love using my polar right now this one is literally one of like i like this one better than that one <laughs> with my now flash on auto so cute this one is the one that i wanted to show you guys i don't know if it's the way that i stored it i i really do like this picture though um i don't know if it's the way that i stored it or what but completely different film packs it has to be the way that i stored it i'm like what what are they doing in my bag because it's literally the same exact like line and everything i don't know if it's the way that i'm storing them or what flash on auto both with my no both with two different cameras so yeah i don't know i think it's just me this one came out really good i really like this one and this one was just flash on auto with my now this is the one that i was going to show you guys that reminds me of oh dang it where is it 
this one these were both the last ones in the pack and for whatever reason this one came out like this and this one came out like this this one i actually really like though because it was a picture of like an alley and some trash cans and i feel like i'm telling you guys <laughs> polaroid film be going based on vibes because the vibe that it added to the picture was just like i mean it was a picture of trash cans and you know like at least it didn't happen on this one because this was the same film pack so i mean it was the last one in this freaking pack came out like this i still really like it i think it's pretty cool and like fitting and i'm glad it didn't happen on that one and then literally the next picture after that i like finished the pack put this one in another metallic one and i'm telling you guys this metallic film is just chef's kiss flash on auto came out really good this one oh, i couldn't i'm like i think i'm pretty sure i have the flash off and i think i lightened it i'm pretty sure that was the settings but i really like how this one came out super cute and then the last one that i have that i've taken which is also i think currently this is like my top top favorite i don't know why something about all the lines and everything i took this in santa monica i don't even know what the settings were auto exposure i think the flash was off i don't even i don't even know i can't remember but i really like this picture honestly my top favorite right now so that was it for all my pictures that i wanted to show you guys at least um let me know which one was your favorite down below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.